I'll be completely honest with every single person watching this video right now. I have never seen a better and much more authentic comic book adaptation series than X-Men 97. From episode 1 all the way to episode 10, this whole complete first season of the continuation of the classic X-Men the animated series, it's a complete masterpiece, a classic, something that you have to watch in this lifetime because this whole season, it just follows the story from X-Men the animated series. It adds many layers to it. It respects the history of the original animated series and it just is obsessed with continuity and that's what got me obsessed with x-men 97 because i just love seeing how connected this world is like in episode 10 tolerance is extinction you saw the every single sentinels controlled by bastion and the asteroid m that it was hanging up on the sky that the whole world was seeing let me even be correct myself in this episode 10 and 9 and 8 in specific because the continuity was just there like episode 10 we saw i'm pretty sure the avengers or two of the main leaders iron man and captain america were protecting president kelly from the sentinels coming in and we also saw black panther probably t'chaka because or t'challa i don't know i think there was both because t'chaka was seen in a tv telling president kelly to calm down and to not worry but a max black panther i'm gonna say it's t'chaka let me just say it's t'chaka that we saw the sentinels try to ambush his home he broke out and just like completely jumped on the sentinels to attack then we also saw daredevil was man fighting his way through the sentinels and we now saw cloak and dagger protect daredevil from you know getting ambushed and being jumped by the sentinels then we now saw the big bombshell in my opinion this is just me we saw peter parker with mary jane let's remember in spider-man the animated series you know mary jane at the end of it with madam webb was kind of like ambiguous that oh we have to find mary jane but it seems that peter finally found mary jane and plus it's not the only time we saw some of these characters we saw captain america in episode 7 where he was verbally arguing with rogue and rogue now threw his shield all the way into the forest you know we saw morph many of morph's transformations all were many heroes like mr fantastic the hulk quicksilver many other people and that's why i love about the continuity of the x-men 97 series because now you make me interested in this world because now i'm seeing all these people these fan favorites returning fan favorites debuting i'm like yo what if we get a spider-man 98 what if we get a continuation of iron man's animated series what if we get hell a captain america series what if we get an avengers 1990 series that did not even happen we also saw dr strange too he's a part of that and at the very end we saw that quicksilver and scarlet witch were off world like what did that entail like were they off world with the inhumans at this point because since most of the avengers are on earth right now i don't think the kree scroll war is happening but also that part was even six months after the x-men were presumed dead but man this whole series like i'm sorry this whole series is just too good like i'd recommend this to anybody anybody gotta watch it like it's violent too it handles death it, it handles gore it handles like bloody fights it, and the choreography in the animation is just top tier it's elite choreography elite animation it's just great like they like i don't know man this whole series wolverine was great everyone was great nightcrawler storm losing her powers mid-series having to do the trial and tribulation the mental battles with the adversary then now returning back with her powers and with her first ever gear that she had in the comics man i ain't gonna lie bro this series man 
this series can make a grown man cry man but that's the end of the video man i'm out peace